I was looking at what actually happened in a coaching process again and again and again, I realized it was this. So this is not like a model to follow blind, blindly. It's more like what naturally happens when we allow things to happen. So it's more like a description than a prescription. You know the difference? There's description and prescription. This is more like a description than a prescription to understand the natural flow of things. And so it's actually the natural flow of life as I see it. Patrick? Are you aware that it's okay with you? But I'm aware of that. Actually, after I saw this process, shortly after I saw the Theory U book, and I read the book and I said, yeah, that's exactly what I'm seeing. So I used inspiration from that also, but it had already emerged. So it was like synchronicity there. This is pretty much, if you know the theory U, this is pretty much it. And the tendency is we have an issue and we try to use thinking to solve it. Yeah? We, we have an issue, it's confusing and troubling. And then we try to think up a solution. Does it work? Sometimes maybe, but does it work well and effortlessly? And what's your experience? My experience is it doesn't work so well. It doesn't work so well. It works in the old way, like it ever has been. Say it again. It works in the old way. You create the same solutions you always created. Now, if you have a really troubling issue, the old way isn't working anymore. And then you try to think up a solution based on your old ideas. My experience, it creates a lot of thinking and not very good solutions. And it creates a lot of stress and effort. And so we do the deepening, expanding as essence, and then we look at the issue from that space, and then we immediately see a solution from wisdom clarity. We have access to our intuitive, natural intelligence, and we just see the solution, or we see the action. It's no longer even a solution. The solution is here. The solution is a completely different place than we thought. You know? It's like this uh, client I've been having for a long time who had so many troubles. And now she's so satisfied with her life. And nothing has changed in her external life. What has changed is now everything is okay as it is. And she's in touch with her being. <laughs> she's, she's so much in touch with her being, she found her fulfillment here, and she realized everything she thought was a problem isn't a problem. She didn't have to change her partner or her work or her place of living, which all those things t t completely upset her before. And she thought she had to change everything to be happy. And she discovered happiness was to be found here, not in changing neither partner nor work. Solution is a different place than we think it is when we are here. When we are here, we think the solution is changing the external situation. When we are here, we feel fulfilled in the situation we are in. And then we may choose to change it, but not because we have to because we want to play another game. Well, I've played this game now for 10 years of, you know, continuously fighting. I'll play another game now. Actually, one thing changed for her is that although nothing dramatically changed, her relationship with her daughter has become so much simpler. The same dramatic feelings arise, but they disappear now in two minutes instead of 12 hours. 
and with her partner, the same drama arises, but then they don't have to spend two days processing it. They don't process anymore. It's not necessary. The feelings happen, the drama happens for five minutes, and then they deal with it, or she deals with it, and it's fine. They don't have to sit down for hour after hour and process my needs, your needs, my feelings, your feelings, my needs, how to do it, request, need. No, she, all that effort spent on processing is now spent on living life instead. <coughs> solution, the real solution is here. Expanding as essence. Clarification phase. First phase is clarification. What is your issue? Let me understand your issue. Chatting. Second phase, deepening phase. What's happening now? Can you allow those troubling feelings? Relaxing into essence. Can you allow that essence to be there and it expands and deepens and suddenly everything is cool? Last phase. Action phase. So deepening. Deepening. Expanding as essence. or being, action phase, deciding action. From here, how do we get to the action phase? Simply by asking this question. Looking at your situation, we change the word. When we're here, it's a problem or an issue. When we're here, it's a situation is no longer a problem, so we don't use the problem word. Looking at your situation from this space in yourself, what do you see? And immediately we see it. We see the solution. We see the action. It's so simple to go from essence to action by asking this question. OK, so from this place, looking at this now, the whole situation, what would be helpful? How would you like to act? What do you see? Well, I see this, this, and this. And then the coach just helps you get specific, because most people don't know the skill of being specific. We tend to speak in generalities, especially about taking action. Why? Because then we don't have to. Because then we don't have to do it. And? Why, why other reasons we are general in our action decisions? Doesn't have, have to do with me? Well, you, you make a choice to do something, but you phrase it in general terms. Then I'm not so engaged. Why would you choose that? Sorry, well, we don't have the issue to point out if you actually do it or not. And what's so good about that? No blame. Exactly. Would you repeat what you said? Yeah, she said. Well, if you're general, it won't be so clear whether you did it or not. And so if you didn't do it, nobody can blame you, especially not you. Mm 